Questions from the room? Coach, tonight, uh, loss against this Wings team was um, obviously, you know, unexpected to me. Um, I'm not sure about anybody else. But uh, given that record, it doesn't really reflect um, the actual level of play. Um, could you just break down, you know, what happened, you know, during, during the course of the game from your perspective? Um, and, you know, what led up to, you know, the collapse at the end? Well, we didn't defend, we fouled, and we didn't rebound. And we shot the three terrible again. So it's a bad combination. Um, some of those things are in our control. Some of them aren't. Nobody's trying to miss shots. Um, but it's tough to win on the road um, when you shoot, what, five for 20, five for 19, um, 26%. And then just get handled in the paint. Now, it, and it didn't really matter who I put in there. Big, we got handled. Small, we got handled. Um, you know, so then you try to switch gears. Well, it's like you're not stopping anybody. You're not rebounding. But, I mean, when you look down and Asia and Jackie are high rebounders with six, that's not going to get it done. Uh, Megan, 11 minutes, zero rebounds. Alicia Clark, 22 minutes, zero rebounds. Like, it's just, it's, it's tough when you don't rebound the ball. And then we fouled too much. So uh, we fouled the three-point shooters. Um, and then gave up 32 in the fourth quarter. So that's on us. Uh, we have to figure out how to get stops down the stretch when it when it matters. And we haven't shown the ability to, you know, keep leads, which is disappointing. But with a team like this, who I think is super high-powered offense, you have to defend. Giving up 93 points, like, we're not that good offensively this year to give up 93 we're not. We haven't shot it well. We haven't moved it well enough. So you you better defend. 90 points is enough to win a game. I guess not when you give up 93, though. That's not good math for us. And obviously, you know, Sato and Natasha wasn't here last week. You, can you talk about their impact on the game as well? Well, I mean, there's three level scorers, both of them. I thought Sato um, got off early, way too comfortable, just came off pick and rolls, and nobody's there. Like, at some point, people have to take accountability. Like, I'm sorry, but you have to be up and pick a roll. You have to be. You have to block out your man. You have to go help the bigs when they have those those big bodies in there crashing every time. Like, when you know exactly what the other team needs to do and you can't handle it, that's concerning. So the, how do you address those concerns? Buddy? I can't make them do it. They have to do it. You know, what am I going to do? Pull pull them out, like <laughs> anybody I put in there didn't rebound. That was that was the whole whole deal. And on a on a game where we do a great job moving our feet, being active, zero, we don't foul them on shooting fouls in the first half. And then what did they shoot? 19 in the second half. So it's a foul shot per minute. You're not winning games like that. You're just not. And that's just about moving our feet. And it was – one through five, whoever I put out there, uh, it falls back on all of us at the end of the day. Mike Volpe? Volpe? Sorry. I don't know where Volpe came from. Volpe, is that a nickname? <laughs> no. Yeah, that's my, I'm, I'm, yeah. <laughs> oh. Taking on a, a new, uh, a new, new last name, Becky. I see. Um, but actually, I wanted to ask you a little bit. I asked the players how, how dangerous it can be to sort of face these teams down the stretch that have gotten, players back either through injury or whatever i mean we saw that with washington yesterday we've seen i believe now dallas has scored 113 points and 93 points in two games how difficult is that i know you're not happy with your defense but how tough is it that some of these teams are are really still alive and kicking if you will well at the end of the day i mean your studs got to play like studs all three of their all, all three of their horses played like horses tonight and, I mean, Asia was a monster. Get a decent game from Jack. Um, I thought KP was getting downhill, getting people involved. She probably had, you know, she only had five assists, but probably had five or six hockey assists. So she was doing a great job distributing. Um, didn't necessarily shoot it, but she was doing some other good things for us. And then we get a pretty good game out of Chelsea. Um, but the rest got to do more around it, and it had to do more with the defensive end tonight than the offensive end. I mean, five for 19, but the fouling, 
the fouling and the rebounding. I mean, really, really tough. And we know the deal. We know the deal with them. Um, you know, we've played them in playoff series. We know how they win games. Uh, I was disappointed with the the 20 defense, though, the fouling, undisciplined, not communicating, messing up on some reds. And I thought just Satu and, and Arike were in our paint downhill uh, wreaking havoc, and then we fouled. Can the defense, you know, you've talked about defensive issues really since before the season started that you had concerns about it. Is there still time for that to get better or, or can it get better? Yeah. I mean, it it can, you know, well, it can get a lot better, clearly. Um, but it's the attention to detail. Like, you know, the, the butter shots in the first half, you could go back there. Um, fouling the three-point shooters. Like, there's ways that we can shave off points just by de- being disciplined, being alert. Um, Arike comes and hits that three, and our big is back. Like, you know, there's there's two seconds left. Of course she's going to shoot it. And we're five feet away from her, six feet away from her. Like those buckets end up to come back to, to like really bite you. Um, And the fact, like I said, that um, we couldn't defend our lunch. Thank you. uh, In the second half. 